definitely don't want to diverge the conversation here. We're talking about chapter 17. I'd really like to come back there. But you mentioned many things about Joseph and the king. I can't mention his I, 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 I gave you an example there. I didn't want to take a detailed discussion there. No, because but the you, simple comparison, you are misrepresenting Jesus' authority. The simple though. comparison between Joseph and Jesus. I'm just asking this. The Torah and the Old Testament came in Aramaic language. Okay. Aramaic. Aramaic. So, so From Aramaic, it, was, it went to Greece. It was translated to Greek. Yeah. And from Greek, it came to Hebrews. And from Hebrews, King James Version of Bible. So as long as you agree Jesus is God, all no, that is fine. Arun, let me quickly read this. Brother, one second. Let me quickly read this to just show you that what you're saying is completely wrong. It says in John 12, 49 to 50. I'll just read the last bit. For I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me to say all that I've spoken. I know that his command leads to eternal life. See what I meant earlier by his teaching? So whatever I say is just what the Father has told me to say. You see how the dependency of the Father and the Son works. So in this case, the Son has been Hashem. commanded. I'm absolutely not only by himself, but he's been told. Like he's been told. It's like an army. Okay, it's like right. an army officer telling his sergeant that you go and fight in that particular area and that is a command which you cannot disobey so what i'm commanding you you better do it and that is a command that's exactly what jesus is telling us so, the eternal life which you spoke about given to uh, everyone is basically based on what based on the teachings It's a commandment my friend so yes? shame you have made that point already yeah good so let me let me respond to that so remember earlier i said in the case of joseph that is true in the case of jesus it isn't true because joseph's relationship that is true Jesus is God, that is true. John the Q, you're next. Absolutely. Jesus is true. He is of course God, he, he is coming back. Inshallah, he'll come back. Wait your turn. So, now, now, coming back. The point is, in re you read a, pa a verse again, during the incarnation of Jesus. So is John 17.3. So is John 17.3. But, exactly. the question, but the question you ask is, is what? Before this thing of the father giving, authority. did he have authority of his own? And the answer for that is pre-incarnation. Yes, he did. Yeah. And Jesus made that point quite clear in the New Testament at multiple points in time. Show me one. I'll give you one example. In reference to the temple in Jerusalem, Jesus said, the one greater than the temple, pointing to himself. So Jesus was, uh, according to his own words, was the one greater than the temple in Jerusalem. Now, if you ask a Jew of the first century or a Jew prior to the first century, the point is quite clear. Where is the pre-incarnation you mentioned? That he had authority pre-incarnation. Where is the, where is the evidence G for that? Was the word. Where's the, where's the evidence for that? Ashim, let me, let me, let me, let me. In the Ashim, beginning, remember? Ashim, in the beginning. Let me, let me. Of what? Beginning of what? As far as you want to back. It's his discussion. You had your turn. You yeah. lost badly. Yeah. No, that's Ashim, turn. Ashim, let, let's, yeah. let's... I had my turn. Let, one second. So let, give him a chance. Let, 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 let's, let's make this quite clear. Yeah. What is clear? Jesus, at some point in time... Got the authority. For some reason, he says, he is greater than the temple in Jerusalem. What is that going to be pre-incarnation? Nothing. It's got nothing to do with pre-incarnation. Hashem. That he had authority pre-incarnation. That was the point you were trying to make. You're interrupting. Yeah. Before, no, but before you, that was the point you were trying to make. I asked let you, me make you my said point. there were many places in the Bible where it shows that he had authority pre let me make my point. You don't, please don't interrupt me. All I want is... Hashim, Hashim, let me, let me make my point. Because I really want to get back to chapter 17 of John again. Because that's the one... Especially verse 3. Especially verse 3, but developing from the context. The point is, Jesus said, Jesus said he was the one greater than the temple to a Jew. No, no, no. It, it, might, it might not matter. A temple and a it human does, can't be compared. It Again, it's to be context. Context. It might, it might not matter. By the way, you had your turn. Let him talk. In, in you mind. If you keep it interrupting, does. it won't finish. Once. It, it, might not, it might not matter to you, Hashim. As a Muslim, <laughs> yeah, it might not matter, matter to you. <laughs> But it does matter, but it does matter. Why didn't you show me what is the relationship between a human being and a temple? I'm answering already. I'm answering already. Go on, please. It might not matter to you as a Muslim 
in the 21st century, but it does matter exactly. to a Jew in who knows century. his scriptures, even not uh, in the first century, but even today. What? today? To a Jew, to a Jew, yeah. the idea would be crystal clear. What? There is only one person who is greater than the temple of God, and that, and that is? is God himself. And Jesus essentially was saying, the one greater than the temple is here. He didn't stop there. He went on to even say that he was, Jesus was, the Lord of the Sabbath. Now to a Jew again, even Jew of today, uh, but Jew of the uh, first century certainly, the Lord of the Sabbath is Yahweh. Crystal clear in his mind. Jesus said that he was the Lord, the Son of Man was the Lord of the Sabbath. So Jesus made the point that eternally he is God Almighty Yahweh quite clear. Not eternally, no, through no, no, those, I'm sorry. Through those you passages. can't just jump to eternally. Can I, can I please come back? Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I please come back? Can I please come back to chapter 17? got nothing to do with eternity. I have, I have made my point. When he, when he was, By the way, just ignore him. He keeps well, he was, on it. Words, when it suits him. But when uh, he has to prove something, not literal words. So I have, None of that passage Hashim, what he quoted Hashim, is eternal. I have made my point. I have made my point that Jesus Why claimed. Him, What's that? Just to me. Oh, sorry. No need to shout. I do apologize. Good point. So I made my point quite clear, and that is Jesus claimed to be Yahweh God. He didn't say Yahweh. In multiple different anyway, places. You, you guys have a lot so of baggage that of, you bring one in of, along. One of, which, please. one of which is where he said, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. Another of his, uh, which is where he said, I am the one, I, I am greater than the temple. He also so two, said, my father is greater than I. So he two, said, I can of myself two, do two, nothing. Two, two, two he examples. can go on and on. Now, now let's, 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 come back exactly. to, let's come back to chapter 17, verse 2. He said, so I what? go to my God and your God. Yes. Does, let's does your back. God have a God? Let's come he back to chapter... State, yes. Let's He's come back. In let's come already. back. Let's yeah. let's. Now, so he has a God. Now he has a God. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Let's come back. God has a God. Wow. What kind of a belief is that? Let's come back to cha chapter 17, verse 2. Who's God? You're still at two. I thought we finished two. No. That he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. So again, what is the Christian doctrine? It is Jesus who is the source of life. Yep. What does the verse say? through Jesus' own words, that he, i.e. Jesus himself, mm -hmm. should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. I'm pretty Who's sure. Who's the you there? That is the Father. Of course, the Father is giving people to Jesus. But regardless of that, eternal life is given by Jesus to them. No, eternal life I already read to you. It's based on the teachings of Jesus. So if they believe in the teachings. Te what, shall, I, shall I read it again? He should give. Okay, let's put it this way. No, no, no. I'll Ashim, read it again because Ashim, you missed it. Let's put it this way. You missed it the first yeah, time. No, 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 Let no. me read it. Can we stick to one so, passage at time? Please? No, no. You brought in many other passages. You brought in the passage about the Lord of the Sabbath and all that. But I can't do that. Seriously. Come on. Be consistent. So can no, no. Wait, wait. Let me read this we, because we, you missed it the last time. Hopefully this time you will understand. Let's see. Okay. okay. Uh, where is it? Here it is. How about John 17, 3? Yeah. For I did not speak on my own. Who is the I? Uh, I'm assuming Jesus. What are you assuming? You should know your Bible. Don't assume. Well, that's not the Bible. That is, that's not the Bible. Well, that's a copy of the Bible. That's Just your like notes. that is a copy. That's your notes. Where do you think it came from? I don't know. From your hands. Okay, read it from your Bible. Yeah, read it from your Bible. From my hands. I thought eternal life was which, like which, no which, which, which John, verse, John, John chapter 12, in the sun, verse 49. Isn't that yeah, twelve forty nine. So twelve forty nine onward. For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave me a command: what I should say and what I should speak. Yep. And I know that that His command is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, just as the Father has told me, so I speak. Okay. So who who gave him the authority there? Who gave him this? Uh, for I did not speak on my own. Uh, Do you speak on your own, by the way? <laughs> Uh, sometimes, uh, you have to think many about times, it. Many I'm times. surprised you have to think about it. Many but times. Right now, are you speaking on your own? I'm still thinking about it, seriously. No, he's no, you're not letting me finish. Okay, go on. I am looking for the input of the Holy Spirit of God also as I am speaking. Are you so, speaking on your own? Simple question. Yes or no? Let me try and answer this again. Yeah, go on. The Holy Spirit of God could give me yes, real-time feedback, input as I speak. I didn't ask you input and output. All I ask is, do you speak on your own will? Say it again. Don't worry about it. Say that again. Ashim, yeah. when the Holy are Spirit you, of are God... You, are you his guru? 
Hashem. Yes. Be- no. they- if, you're, if you're the guru, then the Holy Spirit yeah, this, is not you. This, 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 this. <laughs> because he says he gets input from the Holy Hashem, Spirit. Hashem. Not this, you. this might be new to you, but the Holy Spirit of God could speak to me as I speak to what you. What about Jesus? Michael. Okay, good. You get input can from I, the... Can, no, I, no, can I go back to... My question. Verse, I finish can I? No, no, I won't finish. You said you get input from the Holy Spirit. What about Jesus? Whom does he get input from? He is God Almighty. He gets input from all sorts but, of different but, sources. But look what he says here. What, look what should he we, says Should we read that no, passage? No, no, no. I know you don't should like we, it. Should we read that passage? Read it again? No, no. The entire red letter from the start. Yeah. Bring he who start. believes in me. Later, later, later. He who believes oh, in me. Yeah. Believes yeah. not in me. But in him who sent me. Good. So in the Father, yeah? No, sir. So in the Father, right? No. Oh. Well, the thing is. There is something called believing in Jesus. There is something to be believed in Jesus. And he goes on. No, no. And he who sees me. I asked you the question. And he goes on. And he goes on. And he who sees me sees him who sent me. So there is an equivalence. Someone said what? When you see Jesus, you see the one whom is one whom was sent as one whom sent him. So you're telling me the father looks like a Palestinian man in the. No, let, let's century. not put words. <laughs> let's not put words. I'm asking into, you. It's not putting words. I'm asking let's you not, question. No. By the way, why are you shouting all the time? Yes. Ashim, not, this is not the church. You're Ashim, not on the pulpit. <laughs> I've never just been, you and me. He just Ashim, got done Ashim. shouting. You have never been on a pulpit? <laughs> Ashim, I don't blame the church. He just Ashim, got let's done shouting. And, and he says, he and he who sees me, let's not put words into his mouth. He who sees me yeah. sees him who sent me. What does that mean? Well, whatever it means, oh, you you it also from the Holy Spirit. Tell me what it means. Whatever it means, not whatever. It, <laughs> you tell me what it means. Ashim, you're interrupting every now and then. So tell me what it means. That might be one of the reasons I might have increased my volume. So, please don't interrupt me every now and then. Go on, finish it. Whatever it means, it also means when you see Jesus in some way, shape, or form, you are seeing the one who sent him. What does that mean? You just repeated the words, that's all. I'm asking you to give When you see Muhammad, do you see Allah? No. No. When you see Jesus, do you see the Father? No. Yes. Oh. No. Yeah, Jesus says. says that. So you're Wait, talking about... You might not. What he says. And that is the problem. But I'm asking you, are you talking metaphorically or literally? No, let's put it this way. Metaphorically <laughs> or literally or no, no, whatever it's very important. else. It's very important. When you see Muhammad, do you see Allah? Okay. Is in any way, shape or form. When you say, when I see Muhammad, Muhammad first and foremost... In any human. shape or form, no. when you see Wait, Muhammad, have do I not you answered? see Allah? Have I not answered that question? You haven't. It's on camera. I said no. In any way, you know, you know, you know yeah, why sorry, I said in other that? Words, wait, wait. Do you know why I said that? Yeah. Because what I understood from your question was a literal sense. But even if it is metaphoric in, in either case, Precisely. In the, we do not compare. Which is my new question. Listen, listen. In any we do not sense, compare the servant to the master. Period. Okay? In other words. But in your case, you're saying whoever sees Jesus has seen the Father. I am not saying that. Jesus, Jesus is saying that. No, but that. I'm, I'm asking you to interpret that for me. Yeah, I don't have to interpret, uh, Hashim. My he doesn't pro- have to my, interpret. My, my, Hashim, my He doesn't have to interpret. Then who needs to... Can you interpret? You yourself could. <laughs> you can interpret that? You yourself could. It looks like, no, looks no, like the Holy second. Spirit didn't give him input on that Hashim, one. Hashim, one second, one second. You yourself could interpret and you, you have already interpreted that. Which is, is what? by any stretch of imagination, yeah. a Muslim who calls no, Muhammad question for you, not a Muslim. Hashim. This is a question for you. And that is why I am answering. Okay. I'm not so asking answer, you. Answer based, answer based on the question I asked. Please don't interrupt. Interrupt. Okay. interrupt. Please don't interrupt. Okay. Will you answer the question I asked? Which is what I am doing. Please don't interrupt. What is my question? My question is this. When you, Hashim. when you talk, wait a minute, when you, when you actually read that particular passage in the Bible, if you have it's seen just, me, you have seen the Father. You when you, get, you, when you read God, this particular verse, there are many ways people can understand this. One is by vision. So if I see someone, for example, if somebody sees maybe a twin, yes? Let's say there is a twin, Mark and I don't know, Peter. Not like the God. When they see these two people, they get they get mistaken sometimes because they look very very much similar. Now that is a visual perception. The reason they get mixed up is because they both look identical. They are twins, they are identical twins. So people see them visually and they get mixed up. That is one way of understanding that if you have seen Mark, maybe it was Paul. Yes? Or what is was the Peter example? Anyway, anyway. So Paul and Peter, let's say Paul and Peter are the twins. So sometimes people get mixed up. That's why I'm asking you a very simple question. You said in whatever way, shape or form, that includes the visual, right? So once again, now the question is very specific. The specific question is this. When people saw this 
Palestinian man 2,000 years from today? Yes, maybe with a beard. Maybe he's got, I don't know, wearing a robe or something like that. Yes. Does the father, who is the God of Jesus, does he look exactly like this Palestinian no man chance. visually? No that way. is a specific question you need to no. answer. Do not say whatever way, whatever shape or form, no. because Hashem. that includes the visual. Hashem.